There is plenty of photo editing software out there that has advanced features, but the programs usually require quite some training and are not made to create social media posts. In this video I will be taking a look at Pixlr, which is a photo editor specifically aimed at social media content creators. It doesn't only feature regular photo editing tools, but also templates and animations. For example, to create professional looking Instagram stories quickly or to make a thumbnail for YouTube videos by using adjustable templates. The first unusual thing about the editor is that it works in web browsers. You can also download the software but all features are also available in the browser. Once you go to the website pixlr.com, you will notice that there are two versions available. Pixlr X is the basic version that is very easy to use for beginners and Pixlr E is the advanced version with more fine tuning when it comes to photo editing, but also animations and design. Changing basic settings like the colors and tones can be done with just a few clicks. Pixlr X is displaying all editing tools on the left side. There are plenty of presets, for example, to place text onto a picture or to place other graphics and objects. When going to add element slash image, you can also search for the fitting graphics, which saves a lot of time. One of the most impressive features is the retouch tool. This allows you to touch up blemishes by using the spot tool and adjusting the size. All you need to do is simply click on the spot that should be retouched and the editor automatically removes the blemish. You can also remove complete objects from your pictures. Simply click on Object, adjust the size of the tool and then select the area that should be removed. After a few seconds, the selected area will be cleared. In the home menu of Pixlr X you will see all your current projects. Below that are design templates that can be completely customized. You can adjust thumbnails for YouTube videos with just a few clicks. All you need to do is change the text and replace the images without needing to spend too much time. There are also Instagram Stories templates that can be animated. After opening one of the stories, you can change the texts, adjust the elements and images. To apply an animation, go to the tool menu on the left side and click on Animation. There are a few presets available that can be selected and used. Since each element in the story is a separate layer, they will also move at different times. If you want to customize the animation for each layer, you can switch to Pixlr E for advanced options. The first thing you will notice when opening Pixlr E is that there are more editing tools on the left side, but there's also a drop down menu at the top. When clicking on animation in the top menu, you can select animation panel and then go to layer on the right side. Now you can select and animate each layer by clicking on one of the presets. The timing and duration can be adjusted so the texts or elements appear or disappear at different times. All these settings are still easy to understand and not as complicated as keyframing and other software. These types of animation can be exported as MP4 files or even GIFs, but of course also static as JPEGs. A true time saver is the batch edit, which means you can edit up to 50 pictures at the same time. This comes in handy when having a series of photos that all require the same edit. You can for example crop the images, add borders, change the colors etc. without needing to apply the same effects over and over again. The user interface and menu are pretty common for photo editors and don't take long to understand. You can dock or undock panels and drag them around in Pixlr E depending on what you need for your workflow. There are also plenty of options when using layers, so you are not missing out on any features such as blend modes. 
Just be aware that you cannot open any type of raw photos, but it's possible to open PSD files with different layers. While it's possible to manually cut out objects or people, there's also a dedicated tool in the home menu that can remove backgrounds from photos. The editor automatically removes the backgrounds from portraits while loading the image, so there's nothing that needs to be done manually. But if the result is not good enough, you can still fine-tune the image and either remove more manually or add some parts of the image back that were accidentally removed. If you want to combine a variety of pictures into a collage, Pixlr also has templates with placeholders. They can either be opened and adjusted in the E or the X version. All you need to do is double click on each placeholder layer and select a photo. Even though Pixlr acts as the simpler version of the two editors, it has some additional features that are worth mentioning. If you want to create a sci-fi or futuristic look, you can use Glitch Studio. The tool has a few finalized presets, but also allows full control of the settings to create a distinct look. If you want to add some sort of bokeh to your image, you can use the Focus Studio that has a variety of blur and fake depth of field effects. You can create a tilt shift and miniature effect, but also fake bokeh with colors and different shapes that all can be adjusted and customized. Dispersion is another visual distortion effect that can be used to create an abstract image. Once again, the editor allows full control over the settings. As you can probably tell, Pixlr is less of a tool for pro photographers and more of an all-around visual software for content creators that need results fast. Being able to access it from any computer simply by using a web browser is a big advantage. The mixture of templates, presets and custom controls make these two editors useful tools, especially if you want to save time making thumbnails, Instagram posts or short animated stories. There are different pricing models available and a lot of the features can also be used for free. If you are interested in testing Pixlr, you can follow the link in the description box below to start a free 30-day trial.